crafty here and I'm going to be sieging out all this stuff even though I can't siege it out because of my true number. Don't know what, I'm just going to take this mission just to get this crap off my screen. It's, it's making me, my eyes hurt. And I, looks like we found the, another, an enemy army. This guy's actually protecting our homeland, but they got 15 troops. They should be able to take them out. I don't know what they're doing. Nah, looks like they're letting me, looks like they're, he's going to come back up here. Okay, this is not a good position. All right, we got an enemy army up here. We got an enemy army down there, which could easily squish us. So I'm just gonna go away down here a little bit. Earning a little bit of money. Actually, we're paying for an advisor right now. So that's, that's good. Just gonna try to sneak past this guy. Hopefully we don't have any confrontation. All good. Go back to my homeland. Don't mess with me, you freaking Kinembarnu. Alright. I think it's time for us to, to freaking power up. Go freaking Super Saiyan over here. Make some new troops. And maybe, maybe get some money off this. Actually, I don't think I'm going to take a province, like I said in last episode, because, well, we already got enough rebel problems and boring stuff, and that air is not very good. Like, we just, we just went, like, a step down from the queen to this guy, then we went a lot of stuff, and his claim is weak also. Yeah, that guy is not going to make it. He's going to be really sucky for us. Um. Well, I'm going to be right back, guys. Got to go do something. How about you just sit here and watch this fabulous screen and, and, and analyze it in uh, development map mode. Alright guys, I'm back. Back to continue. Hope you guys enjoyed the development map mode. Looked at all the geographic crap we got going on. Of course this guy wants to rebel, but we're slowly making him like us a little bit more. Oh, it looks like this guy is trying to come into our country, eh? Is that... Oh, he's sieging that out. Is that... Oh, now nah, that's it. We taking this guy out. Oh, our allies are helping us. This is all over for this guy. Alright, looks like we're... We're getting... Uh, we're, yeah, we're winning. Oh, they're getting some ally help. Up here, you see that. Hopefully we can take these guys out before they get here. That's the fourth. Yeah, we're gonna win before they get here. All right, we won. But obviously, this guy is attacking us, and he's getting a river crossing penalty. And I know you can't see the river because I turn down the visuals for multiplayer games because I lag like crap. But this is oh crap. Well, this is bad. We might be able to pull this out. Oh, we're killing more of them than they are us. See the numbers right here? Yeah, I just barely won that. With my ally helping me. My allies helping. And we got more allies coming from the other side here. And I want to go ahead and teach that again. Looks like we don't have 
that many rebels coming up. Yeah, they're slowly going away because I increased the uh, autonomy, which means less taxation. And these guys are about to not have 50% liberty desire. So that's that's some good news. We're turning the tides of this war after that battle down here. We just destroyed them as they're about to be stacked wiped by this army so this war is looking pretty good and we chose the right ally I mean I could have not not accepted it but I did let's see what the deal is so I'm only at war with these two guys the uh, I said I'm only at war with but Songhai is at war with this guy this guy this guy and their allies so Songhai is in like two wars right now <clears throat> one with us attacking him and one with air, the east the western areas attacking him. hopefully I can well, let me set up a little peace deal here so that I can get some money out of this because you know the war leader Kano is not going to give me anything. So he's not even going to accept a white piece for me because I'm just uh, another person in the war. And I only will, I only need, aw oh crap. I only need 13 war score to get that. Which is only 26 duck ducats, but I need the money. I need the money. And then we got a claim on this, but they're our vassals, so. And they're pretty crappy, too. They haven't made any troops since I destroyed their army. Are they, like, depressed or something? Do they need me to, like, cheer them up by giving them their noopy back? I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're sad because all their provinces are just three development. And this Snoopy was their whole country. I basically took half of their country. Oh, this war is about to end. Maybe. Oh. I need at least 10 war core? Core. War's core. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. I don't know what that means. War core. War score. Sounds like war score, but it's war core. Wait a second. Uh. What the crap? Did they make a typo? Maybe they meant wars. War score. How does the demands exceed the war score? The tin all the way down. All right, whatever. I don't know. There's probably some sort of weird typo glitch. You guys saw that. Let me help him see Jet out. Speed it up. I know you guys are like, oh my god, I'm sitting here watching this crap. But this is Africa War. I mean, yeah, this is Africa War One. So if you don't have any respect for AW One. Then you need to leave this video, cause this war was uh, totally justified because Kano is greedy and wants provinces from this this country. Kanem. Songhai is literally like the Nazi Germany because people got so scared of them cause they're so strong, and we just all ganged up on them and now he's dying. Literally, what's happening? Happening. Uh, we have a lot of dip, so we can take the hit. We need to get our money situation better, but I need I need the advisor because you know that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on military to even all this out. Hopefully, this guy lives for a long time. And stuff like that. Because if he doesn't live for a long time, then our other guy is just going to be total crap. 
and it's not going to be good. Hopefully we kind of make a little bit of progress and let's see what year we can finally take this guy and the next one, all right, 56, not bad. Oh. Let's see if I can peace out at all. Yeah, I want to peace out with some money. But that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you with an awkward silence. As you guys know what's going on. You don't need no commentary. You enjoy the majestic right here. video thank you guys you know what to do <clears throat> you're supposed to click off the video but you're not are you that loyal like like I don't know guys cuz I seriously doubt anybody's made it this far in but if you have Oh crap, oh, okay, I need to start paying attention now. Uh, looks like they got a little bit of a massing over here with some about uh, 12,000 troops, I think. I might be totally wrong. 13. Yeah, they're not messing with us. I'm just going to keep on helping that guy siege it out. They're obviously heading toward my country, trying to take me out. The Great Zazua. Let, let me learn how to pronounce my country. Zaz. Zazau. We are the Great Zazau. Nobody will touch us. Uh, we are basically the Burgundy of Africa. We are now taking out the foe. Oh, okay, never mind. I made that weird noise because they're going to attack us. But this is basically the phony France. And we are the phony Burgundy of Africa. This right here. Um, I don't know where the Portugal is. This is Mount Mali. It's the phony Austria. Timbuktu is the phony Castile. Air over here is... I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to find something. They might be the phony Portugal. And that's really all I can come up with. They don't really have the same color. But it looks like we're really winning this war right now. Yeah, we're... Once we siege out their capital, it's all over. We're going to get a whole bunch of war score. And we're just going to take... We're, we're going to get some money. So that we can not go bankrupt eventually. I mean, I could take a whole, out, out a whole bunch. Uh, I could take. A, I said every day. I could take out a whole bunch of loans, and I would be fine. But I don't like. Okay, look at that. I told you that war score would jump like crazy, and it's occupied by the Kano's, and they still don't want to peace out. Come on, Kano. Come on, make your demands. Get it over with. Uh, I'm tired of the war. I'm sure my people are too. Got that war exhaustion up. Don't like it. Come on, guys. Just let it end. Let it end. I mean, I don't want fetishist zealots to convert Nupe. Do you think that's what I want? Like, that is the freaking wrongest name I've ever heard. Why do you name your country? I mean, why do you name a, a religion after that? And what kind of country name is Zazu? Man, these guys need to learn. I mean, Air, um, Molly, Mossy, is it like Moss and then Air and all that crap? Is that what we're doing nowadays? Who's attacking? 
Oh, what? That was dumb. They had such low morale, and I stack wiped them without really caring. Alright, come on, peace out. We got 64 war score, and I. Guys, if I could peace out sep. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can get any juice. Oh, crap. Come on, guys. I don't I don't want to white piece this. I want to get some money. I need that money in my treasury. All right, whatever. It wouldn't have mattered. It, I, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. All right, looks like looks like we're not at war. Oh, God, what in the what? Oh my my le oh my legitimacy just took a giant crap and totally killed itself. And I still have two real marriages. I'm still at war. Who am I at war with? What the f Why am I still at Oh we're still at war with this guy. I guess we're not over the war yet. They just you just pieced out with Songhai, which is still getting wrecked by everybody else. As you can see, looks like he defeated his enemies, probably white pieced, and he's currently attacking this poor guy, trying to get a little bit more leverage on me, which is not what I want. But I got this. Good Nupe down here. This is good Nupe. Wait, 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 please. Please wait, wait, wait a second. Alright, Nupe's cord. I want to see what the war goal. Mun Eo. Alright, Mun Eo. And I know Benin did this to me. But I want to. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just want to be a jerk right now. I'm feeling it. I was about to justify it by saying they did it to us, but they didn't do it to us. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I can't. I can't even use that province anymore. Yeah, this four stack is so dead. Say goodbye to that poor four stack. Yeah, I don't know what is going on. Hopefully, they, this, they just finished this war. Okay. Will they give us money? How much money can we get if we go all the way? Alright, that's not even... Yeah, I might as well not. Separate piece. And we could make this... Yeah, let's make it... Uh, a state. And as you can see, Sunghai is definitely wrecking this cat Cena. Is that like John Cena's cat or something? Is this what is this what EU4 is doing to us now? Putting like wrestling crap in here? Is this even historical? Like, do you honestly want me to believe some nation is actually called the Air? Like, I know this one was real. This one was real. This one was real. Probably this one. Probably that one. This one. But, yeah, and this one. But really? Like, what is this crap down here? Especially my nation. Like, I don't even think my nation existed. But you probably look it up and it'll be like, oh yeah, that nation existed back way in the 1400s where they were taking, uh, they were at war with everyone, and you know, since we're on this this uh, thing right here, how about we uh, read some old history books? All right, I'm gonna read this. Um, don't roast me, please. Don't don't roast me. Zazu was a soldier by the Zazuian campaign of Pindinga. Historians talk about Zazuin fought the Nupe in the Battle of Nupe, led by Zazuin and Minna, suffered some losses fighting the 40,000 men strong Nupe army led by Abu Bakr Rafia, 
who lost most of the forces. Amane wisely made the decision to introduce a vision quest. In the reign of Amina, we moved our capital to the Sazu. And this is, this is, I did not declare this war. This is the war we did. The brutal Zazuian con conquest of Pening Padinga ended after one year, resulting in victory. The war was practically decided when Amina fought a Abu. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Just, you know, you read it. You read it. You guys should know how to read. I don't think any kindergartner be watching my videos. Unless that's true. And if you're in kindergarten, leave a like down below. Tell me your life story. Just be like, yeah, I'm in kindergarten and I learned how to read. Don't, don't do that. But you can like the video. Yeah, guys. Like the video. Um, unsubscribe. Uh, what else is there? Turn off notifications. Stuff like that. Stuff like that will get you far in life. Because if you sub to me, you need help. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody heard, heard that. Got your Timbuktu taking them out. And I think after this war wraps up, I'm ending the video. So you guys can enjoy this masterpiece we got here. Alright, it's about to end. So close. But so far away. Because it's literally taking forever. Oh my goodness, how do you get a water shortage? You're right next to the lake. Just burn that crap up, like boil it or something. You can't get a water... Oh my gosh. That's like the one lake that we have. That's literally the one lake that I can see. And they failed. Alright, that war is over. I did not gain crap, and Kano was a greedy piece of My army is pretty much cut in half because of all the stuff we've been through. That's the end of the episode, guys. Have a nice day. Go to, go to Zazazu, and, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Just, that's the end of the episode.